What is a kink in the neck? A crook? A crick? These are all terms that I've heard people use to describe that feeling when their neck is locked up. If they don't move it, it's usually not too painful, but as soon as they try to turn or move out, that hurts. That doesn't feel good. I'm going to describe what that is and maybe some of the best remedies, some things that you can do on your own and some things that maybe a chiropractor, a physical therapist, just a manual therapist might be able to help you out with. But first, what is it? What's causing that? Nobody really quite knows for sure, but it's suggested that it's probably these joints. Uh, we've got these small little joints in the back of our spine here. You see them right here, right here, right here. Collectively, those joints have enough movement that we can turn and twist and do all of these things with our neck. If those small joints are not moving the way that they should be moving, if they get inflamed, if they get kind of stuck uh, where they're not moving properly, well, that's going to interfere with the movement of the entire neck. And when that happens, usually the surrounding muscle will kind of guard because it's probably locked in place because it's irritated for some reason. So the surrounding muscles get really stiff. And I say that's when you end up with this pain on top of a pain. So here's where people get really interested. Well, should I use ice for that or should I use heat for that? Well, the heat usually does a great job of relaxing those muscles. So if the muscle spasm is the chief uh, complaint or the main reason that it's locked up, people will put heat on there and say that feels good. Most commonly, uh, I let that hot water uh, in a shower drip down on my neck and I kind of do a little massage and that loosens it up a little bit. But as soon as I get out of the shower, 20 minutes later, it seems like it, it's right back where it was. Some people will say the ice feels better because that irritation underneath that tight muscle could be caused from inflammation. And the ice is going to knock out that inflammatory response a little bit. Um, and so they'll help with that. And that's why you hear other people say, we well, use both. You do this form of contrast therapy where you can put some heat on, loosen up that muscle, but then put the ice on. And that almost acts kind of like a pump. It gets some circulation, some blood flow in there, but constricts it. But then you do the heat again, and now you're opening it up and closing it up, that circulation in there. And then that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's an option as well. But the good news is you're not going to hurt yourself either direction. If you put some heat on it, it feels worse afterwards, guess what? You probably just ignited that inflammatory response a little bit more. Go ahead and put some ice on there, but you're not going to do any damage. So what are some other uh, options? Massage can be really uh, beneficial for these, or myofascial release. As a, as a chiropractor, we do forms of massage, myofascial release. We can dig and stretch those muscles and dig into the soft tissues that are causing the restriction. But most importantly, and what I've had the most success with, um, is the traditional spinal manipulation, the crack. I got a crick in my neck, let's crack it. And what that crack is going to do, or the adjustment, the spinal manipulation is, it's going to address right where it is. We said, well, it's that joint right there that's locked in place and it's not moving. Well, the adjustment gives it that range of motion again. It gives it that freedom to move. And a really cool thing is, um, there's some research that shows that when you do that, when you mobilize any joint, that there's a little bit of a neurological reflex that will cause that muscle spasm to reduce. And so now you're doing two things with that one adjustment is you're kind of in a way realigning uh, the spine or getting that proper movement in there. But neurologically, you're also helping those muscles to uh, relax. And then, of course, what are some other things that you could do? Um, the rubs, whatever your favorite rub is, your Biofreeze, your Bengays, your Icy Hots, your Tiger Balms, CBD oil is so popular right now. Um, so those are options for you as well. Um, and then uh, maybe some anti-inflammatory, some kind of a muscle relaxer could work well. So the medical route, there's that. So kind of wanted to give you a a good overview of what a crick is um, and why maybe a crack uh, around that crick could be beneficial and some other things. So if you found this beneficial, um, please leave a comment below. Let me know. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions for you.